This video is on estimating fraction sums and differences. You can estimate sums and differences of fractions by rounding each fraction to the nearest half and then adding or subtracting. Before we can do that, however, we need to know some guidelines for rounding fractions and mixed numbers to the nearest half. Okay, this would be a good time for you to get out a piece of paper and take notes, pause the video whenever you need to so that you can catch up on your note taking. Okay, when to round up. If the numerator is almost as large as the denominator, then you round the number up to the next whole number. So, for example, we have 11 twelfths. 12 is our denominator, so compare the numerator to it. Our numerator is 11. 11 is almost as large as the 12, so therefore we go ahead and round the fraction 11 twelfths up to one whole. 1 and 5 6. Now we have a mixed number. You need to look only at the fraction part first. 5 6. Our denominator is 6. Is the 5 almost as large as 6? Is that numerator almost as large as your denominator? Sure it is. So 5 6 is going to round up to one whole. We also already have one whole. So we combine the two wholes and we get 2. When to round to a half. If your numerator is about half the denominator, then you've round the fraction to the nearest half. So in our first example, our denominator is a 7. Half of 7 is 3.5, or think about $7. Half of $7 is $3.50. Is the numerator, is this 4, close to the 3.5? It is. So therefore, we would round 4 sevenths to a half. And our mixed number, we have 5 and 7 fifteenths. Again, look only at the fraction part. 15 is our denominator. Half of 15 is 7.5, and the numerator is close to that 7.5. So our fraction, 7 fifteenths, would round to a half. We already have five wholes, so our mixed number, our rounded mixed number, would be 5 and 1 half. And when to round down. If the numerator is much smaller than the denominator, then we round the number down to the previous whole number. So let's look at our first example, 1 seventh. Our denominator is 7. Okay, is the numerator much smaller than the 7? Sure, it's a 1. Or you can think about, look at the numerator, is it close to 0? And if it's close to 0, then you round down. Well, there was no whole number here, it was a 0. So 1 seventh is just going to round down to 0. Okay, 21 and 2 twelfths. Our numerator is 2. Is that pretty close to 0? Yes, it is. So 2 twelfths, that fraction, would round to 0. We have 21 holes, so our answer, or our rounded answer, would just be 21. Okay, this is a tip, something that you need to know. You're just going to have to remember it. 1 third and 2 thirds will always round to a half. If you take a look, I drew three fraction bars. The middle one represents a half. I've shaded half of it. And I drew a blue line going down to represent where half of the fraction bar is. Our first fraction is one-third, shaded one-third. If you'll look, the shaded area is closer to the half line than it is to zero. So one-third rounds to a half. And the third one, I've shaded two-thirds. Take a look at your shading it's closer to the half line than it is to the whole so therefore two-thirds also rounds to a half. Okay, here's a practice problem. Five-eighths plus eleven-twelfths. We want to estimate the sum. So we're going to round our fractions. Let's start with five-eighths. Compare your numerator, the five, to the eight. Is the five close to the eight? No, it's not. So we will not round up to one whole. Is your 5 close to half of 8? Well, half of 8 is 4, and yes, the 5 is close to 4, so 5 eighths would round to one half. On our 11 twelfths, again, compare your numerator to your denominator. Is the 11 close to 12? Yes, it is. So 11 twelfths would round to one whole, and then you just add your one half plus your one whole, and you get one and a half. 
Okay, let's estimate a few more problems. Two-fifths plus seven-eighths. We're estimating we can round two-fifths. Compare your numerator to your denominator. Is the two close to five? No. So it will not round up to one whole. Half of five is 2.5. Is the two close to 2.5? Yes. So two-fifths, we would round to one-half. And compare seven-eighths, seven to eight. The seven is close to eight, so we're going to round seven-eighths up to one whole. So our new estimated number sentence would be one-half plus one whole, which is going to equal one-and-a-half. Now let's try a subtraction problem that has a mixed number. Okay. Even though it's a mixed number, we're only going to estimate the fraction part. This is what we're rounding, the 5 eighths. Okay. 5 eighths. Is the 5 close to the denominator 8? No, it's not. Half of 8 is 4. Is the 5 close to 4? Yes. So 5 eighths would round to a half. And I already have two holes, so that would make 2 and a half. And then 2 fifths, we want to subtract 2 fifths. Is the 2 close to 5? No. Is the 2 close to 2 and a half? I'm sorry, to half of 5? Yes, half of 5 is 2 and a half, which the 2 is close to, so this would round to a half. So our rounded number sentence would be 2 and a half minus a half. You subtract and your answer is 2. So I'd like for you to do C on your own. Pause the video. When you're ready to check your answer, restart. Okay, let's see how you did. 3 eighths plus 1 and 5 sixths. We want to estimate the answer. Well, rounding the fractions, 1 eighth rounds down to 0, so we would have our 3 holes, plus the 5 sixths rounds up to 1 hole. We add it to the hole that's already there, and it gives us 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay, so let's put this in a word problem. Luis spent 2 and a half hours watching a movie and 1 and 1 third hours online. About how much more time did he spend watching a movie than he did online? Okay, our clue word here is about. Anytime you see a clue word about or estimate, that means to round. Before you do any adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, you round your numbers. So let's go ahead and round our numbers and create a new number sentence. Two and a half. We've already rounded it to the half. I mean, it's already there at the half, so it's going to remain two and a half. One and one third, look at your one third. How are you going to round one third? Are you going to round it down to zero? Are you going to round it to a half or to a whole? Well, one third was one of those fractions that you were supposed to remember, and it rounds to a half. So our number sentence is going to be two and a half minus one and a half. You subtract, and your answer is one. So he spent about one hour more watching TV than he did online. And that is the end of tonight's video.